hey what's up guys so i'm gonna go ahead and make a video i just got this in the mail right now it's the roc truck the c10 went ahead and bought it off of redline club been a member but i've never been able to buy anything so this is my first roc purchase ever besides the uh, camaro that came with the membership and i'm gonna go ahead and open it for you guys and yeah, let's take a look So as you can see, here's like a receipt. Here's a receipt. And uh, I'm not gonna show too much of that. Don't wanna show my address or anything. It comes with uh, this little bubble wrap pillow thing. And then here's a car. It's really small in the, the box and here you go. Let's move this to the side. All right, so here's a box. You got Hot Wheels on the top. You got C10 Chevrolet on the side, Hallways on the other side, the Chevy with the bow tie, and some more stuff down there. As you know, the ROC, how it works, usually everything sells out, so pretty sure this is not anywhere available anywhere for retail. You might be able to get it on eBay or something like that, but... um. Yeah, so I didn't notice there was tape here, so I need to go ahead and cut this tape real quick. All right, so I went ahead and cut that. Let's go ahead and open it real quick. All right. Let's get into the truck already. So it comes within another box. Okay, took it out. That's all that comes in this. And then here's the box that was inside. You see the C10 on top. Chevrolet on the side, metal on metal, rear riders. Here's that information. There's the number. There was a total of 12,500 made, which is a lot, but it's still sold out within less than an hour, I think. The bow tie, Chevy again, and another bow tie. You just simply um, slide it out like that so you could get into the truck there it goes that's the truck and then here's the box that goes over it there you guys have it that's the truck this is the first time Mattel changes the ROC packaging for a specific car uh, as you guys know if you keep up with the ROC you know they always come carded either on a regular card with the blister or they come in acrylic boxes which I've noticed that they've been doing that recently since last year uh on the rlc i know they, they usually do that for like stuff like fair like toy fairs and stuff like that and collectors events but this is the first time i see it done like this it's not even an acrylic box it's nothing it's just a velvet uh material and they just put it on there and it's easy to take out it's not screwed in or anything and it's not in a blister so you don't have to rip open the card it's just simply designed a different way and i think this is the first time they've done it like i said and i think it's pretty cool you know so you don't have to rip up the card and you know worry about that losing value or anything like that you can simply take it out enjoy it look at it and you can put it back where it belongs and then it's like new so that's pretty cool but uh here we go here we have the car it's full of lint from the velvet and this piece is super heavy guys like it's really heavy i don't know if i'm just making it up in my head that it's heavy because i'm not used to getting roc cars and maybe my mind is just playing tricks on me but it feels really really heavy like super heavy i'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a bit for you guys okay i cleaned it up a bit let's take a look in the light it looks pretty pretty cool this is my first roc like i said so i'm not used to this quality of shine and paint but it looks really nice as you know it's root beer spectre flame paint so it's super shiny it looks pretty good and then you have a cream color on the sides the back and on the other side you have little uh, details all around like reflectors c10 badge full detail on the grill you have the bow tie door handles even the rear has the chevrolet logo with rear taillights and the license plate 
And as you know, if you kept up with the ROC, this is a special feature about this car. You could either slam it or have a street set up. You would just have to move this little piece right here. But uh, yeah, this thing is super cool. I'm glad this is my first ROC purchase. Yeah, I mean, this thing is cool. I mean, there's nothing more to say except it's cool. Hope that you got it. If you got one, let me know. If you didn't, will you be buying one on the aftermarket? Will you be buying it on eBay? Or are you just going to simply pass on it? It's not, your, it's not your thing. I think it's pretty cool. It's the first time they've done something like this. Um, so I'm pretty glad that I got it. I'm going to go ahead and try to show you guys this piece in moving. And I'm going to try to show you the street setup. Give me a second. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to show you guys this feature. Okay, it's pretty hard to move. Okay. There you go. It's pretty hard to move it. But as you can see, now it's a little bit higher. So that's the street setup. And then you just got to move this back the other way if you want it slammed. But yeah, there you guys go. There's that. It's pretty cool. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, check out my other videos. Uh, give it a like. And just check out my channel for more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. All right, guys, have the truck outside in the sun so you guys can see it better.